Welcome to HTML tutorial. This course don't need any prerequisite and is for everyone who want to code with HTML and create web page. What you will learn in this course are what is HTML and how it form web page in installing and using VS Code which is the code editor, writing HTML code and watching the result in the browser, basic knowledge of the HTML tags, elements and attributes and at the end you will know how to build html elements like heading paragraph list tables and etc let's create the first web page to create a page you need to know html html define the building block of any web page like heading paragraph image table and etc to write html code you need a code editor and a browser Although you can use a text editor like Notepad or TextEdit, it's better to use code editor for writing HTML code because the code editor makes you more productive by syntax highlighting and error checking. I use VS Code as a code editor in this tutorial. So open Google and search for VS Code. In the first result, click on Download VS Code Studio and here, based on the operating system, select the installation package, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Then, follow the ins installation steps, and at the end, you will have VS Code on your computer. After installing VS Code, you will have Visual Studio Code icon here. Click on VS Code, and that's it. You have your code editor like this from file menu click on new file and here where you want to write your HTML code just type this is my first page and press ctrl s and save your file in the desktop as a my first page dot html don't forget to put dot html at the end of your file name my first web page and save it that's it you have my first page dot html in the desktop now it's time to open the browser and from file menu open the created file and it's the result you created your first web page here although the basic of html is plain text we need a bit more to make it a nice and shiny html document the basic structure of html document includes tags which surround content and apply meaning to them change your html document so that it look like this first of all put doc type at the beginning of your file and set the tag type to HTML. It's a tag. Create another tag which is HTML and close that tag with a slash HTML surrounded by angle bracket. Inside that create body tag and put your content inside body tag this is my first web page save this file and go to your browser and refresh it the appearance of the page will not have changed at all but the purpose of html is to apply meaning not presentation and this example has now defined some fundamental of a web page the first one is doc type. It's a document type declaration and it let the browser know which flavor of HTML you are using. In this case, it's HTML5. It's very important to state this. If you don't, browser will assume you don't really know how you are doing and act in a very peculiar way. The next tag is 
HTML and body. To get back in the point, HTML is the opening tag and kick thing off and tell the browser that everything between that and the slash HTML is the closing tag in a HTML document. The stuff between body is the main content of the document that will appear into the browser. So it's very important to know the closing tag. Here, the slash body and slash HTML put a close to their respective elements. Tags can also have attributes, which are extra bit of information. Attributes appear inside the opening tag, like this. And it's like name and value inside code. Of course, Quotation marks aren't always essential, but it's a good practice convention and we suggest you to do that. Elements. Tags tend not to do much more than mark the beginning and the end of an element. Elements are the bits that make up web pages. You would say, for example, that everything in the bit thing and include the body tag is the body element everything in between and include the body tag is body element. The created my first page don't have any title in the browser. Our HTML page should have a page title. To add a title to your page, change your code so that it look like this. After HTML, create head tag and close head tag the VS code do this for us and create title tag inside head tag here where we need to set the page title my first web page save this file and refresh browser you see we have page title here the head element appear before the body element and contain information about the page. The information in the head element does not appear in the browser window. So inside the browser canvas, you don't see anything that is inside head element. It's all about the description of the page, like the title of the page, and meta information about description, keywords, and stuff like that. We will see later that other elements can appear inside the head elements, but the most important of them is the title element. If you look at this document in the browser, you will see the title inside the tab name. Let's go back to the body tag. Now that you have the basic structure of HTML document, you can mess around with content a bit. Go back to your text editor and add another line to your page. How exciting. Save the file and refresh. Look at the document in your browser. You might have expected your document to appear you type it in in the editor, but instead you should see them on a one line. This is because Web browser don't usually take any notice of what line your code is on. It also doesn't take any notice of spaces. You would get the same result if you type it like this, putting multiple space and press save. When refresh the page, you see there is no space, only one between two sentences. If you want text to appear on different lines, or rather, if you intend to be two distinct block of text, you need to explicitly state that. To do that, change your two line of content so that they look like this. Put, this is a, this is my first page inside paragraph tag, which is P, and the second paragraph will be how exciting. Check the result, and you see these two sentences are into different block. 
So the p tag is used for paragraph. Look at the result of this. The two lines will now appear on two lines because the browser recognized them as a separate paragraph. Emphasize. You can emphasize text in a paragraph using EM, which stands for emphasize tag, and also use a strong, which means importance of a word. So here I want to set is inside EM, which make it italic, and here I want to change the second paragraph with a warning a strong and put warning inside a strong then put the other part of paragraph that's it save the file and refresh the page you see is is italic because we emphasized the is in the first paragraph and here warning is bold because we wrapped warning inside a strong tag. Line break. The line break tag can also be used to separate line like this. Imagine we want to put the my first page in next line. What we need to do is to add br tag like this and save it. Here we see the my first page page is on the next line not on the other paragraph line break is a self-closing tag so there is no content involved in breaking line so there is no closing tag heading if you have document with genius heading then there are html tag specifically designed just for them there are h1 h2 to h6 H1 being the most important heading and the H6 is the lowest important. To use heading, change your code to the following. Clear all tags inside body and create H1 tag and inside that put my first web page. Next to H1 tag, create H2 tag and put this setting what this is now create a paragraph tag and inside that put this text a simple page put together using HTML then create another h2 tag and put this heading why this is and after h2 tag put a paragraph and enter to learn HTML. Now create a three heading and two paragraphs. Let's save and check the result. Note that the H1 tag is only used once as the main heading of the page. H2 to H6, however, can be used as often as desired but they should always be used in order as they were intended. For example, an H4 should be a subheading of H3, which should be a subheading of H2. Our HTML page is now more shiny and better to read. Now it's time to create a list. There are two types of lists, which is unordered list and ordered list. They work the same way except that the unordered list is used for non-sequential list with list item usually preceded by bullets and the ordered list is for sequential list which are normally represented by incremental numbers. To create an unordered list, we use ul element and close it. Inside the ul element, we use li element which is list item to create list of items the first item is to learn html let's create another item inside this list so create a li another li tag and inside that put to show off and 
also create another list item and inside that put another text I just put a funny text inside it great save the file and refresh the page you see this is an unordered list with bullet point before them if you look at this on your computer you will see a bullet list simply change the ul tag to ol and you will see that the list will become numbered just convert it to ol ordered list and save it check the result you see the bullet point changed to numbers list can also be included in list to form a structured hierarchy of items for example inside the third li we can remove the text inside the third and inside this we want to create an unordered list like this create another list item and refresh the page you see you have unordered list inside an ordered list to make it more beauty you can put the to show off in the L item and remove this L item now it's time to create links so far you have been making a standalone web page which is all very well and nice but what makes the internet so special is that it's all links together the h and t in html stand for hypertext which basically means a system of linked text an anchor tag which is a it's an anchor tag is used to define a link but you also need to add something to the anchor tag which is the destination of link create an anchor tag at the end of body tag and create anchor tag set the attribute href to w3school.com and inside the tag put the caption of the link which is to learn more about HTML now check the result and here if you click to learn more about HTML you will be redirected to W3 school so the destination of the link is defined in the href attribute of the tag here the link is absolute it means that it mentioned the protocol and it's completely set the destination but it can also be relative to another page for example you can create another web page let's create another one second web page and save it with this name put HTML at the end and inside my first page change the href to this my second webpage.html refresh the page and click on link and you see the second web page you created in the desktop will now be shown that was an introduction to the html i hope you learned how to create heading paragraph ordered list unordered list and links in html in next tutorial i will teach you how to create image form input buttons tables and stuff like that until that 
do exercises about creating basic web page with these elements. Until that tutorial, bye-bye.